Calcium is one of the most limiting nutrients in high performance organic production systems. Unlike mobile nutrients such as nitrogen, potassium, and magnesium, calcium primarily moves through mass flow and becomes structurally fixed once deposited in plant tissue. Because reproductive growth dramatically increases calcium demand, while environmental constraints restrict calcium mobility, it is recommended that crops be preloaded with calcium during the vegetative phase of growth. This front-loading strategy enables stronger cellular architecture, enzymatic efficiency, and disease resistance before flowering begins. Calcium functions as a structural cation within the plant. It stabilizes cell wall through pectin cross-linking and maintains plasma membrane integrity. It regulates and activates calcium-dependent protein kinases involved in signaling and stress response. Adequate calcium improves root hair formation, apical dominance, and resistance to both biotic and abiotic stressors. If you haven't already watched the short podcast on calcium and phosphorus interactions, hit the link in the description. Calcium readily precipitates with phosphorus into poorly soluble compounds such as calcium phosphate. Microbial produced organic acids resolubilize these precipitation reactions and can chelate the nutrient ions to keep them bioavailable. Calcium also competes with magnesium and potassium at root uptake sites and cation exchange sites. Excess calcium can suppress magnesium and potassium uptake, while high magnesium and potassium can strongly inhibit calcium availability and mobility. Sodium can also antagonize calcium. Amino acid and nitrate nitrogen can enhance calcium uptake by changing charge balance, sap charge balance and xylem transport dynamics. Amino acids improve calcium uptake through chelation, enhance membrane transport, reduce metabolic energy cost, and the stimulation of beneficial microbes. Amino acid calcium complexes remain soluble and bioavailable longer than ionic calcium. Microbial metabolites like organic acids can dissolve calcium phosphate and calcium sulfate precipitations and maintain calcium in solution. Polysaccharides loosely bind calcium and enhance transport through biofilms. Humic and fulvic acid chelate and improve membrane permeability and buffers against antagonisms. The calcium uptake is highly dependent on transpiration of water and environmental parameters like temperature, relative humidity, and vapor pressure deficit. And any factors that limit transpiration of water will limit calcium uptake. When you're front-loading calcium, you want to use multiple calcium sources including gypsum, calcium silica, which have higher solubility, and then low solubility or slow-release calcium sources such as bone meal and calcium phosphate. Organic nitrogen and amino acids enhance calcium transport and microbial consortiums liberate calcium ions and prevent precipitation. And foliar spraying magnesium can also offset antagonisms during high calcium vegetative phases.